Dear students, good morning to all. Dear students, today we will study the second class subject, Maths World. Up to now, we have read the first seven pages and now we will learn how to understand the concept of ones and tens with the help of abacus. So, dear students, we have an abacus with us. In it, a stick of abacus is for 1 rupee notes and another stick is for 10 rupee notes, which we will call ones and tens. So, let's start the activity. Dear students, we will take some beads in a vessel and I am going to speak a number 25. 20 plus 5, 25. It contains 5 ones. So, we will put 5 beads in one's abacus stick. 1 and it's the next one. Two. Another ball, another bead falls in the abacus stick. Three. And another bead. Four. And five. And for tens abacus stick, as we know, twenty contains two tens, so we will put two beads. One and two. Dear students, now we have shown 25 on abacus with the help of two tens and five ones by using beads. So, dear students, I have explained the one sum of page number 9 to you and rest of the sums you try to do yourself. Now, moving to the next topic. Now, we will count the beads of abacus and we will write the numbers in figures and words. Dear students, it is an abacus but now on abacus, instead of using ones, tens and currency notes, we will write the short form for ones and tens. We will write O for ones and T for tens. O for ones and T for tens. Now let's add some beads to the ones abacus stick. It's one, two, three and four. Four ones, so four. Now let's add some beads to the tens abacus stick. One, two, two tens, so twenty. And with three beads, it's thirty. So the number is thirty tens and four ones. That's thirty four. So dear students, we will write in words thirty four. It's T H I R T Y thirty F O U R four. Now I have explained one sum from page number ten. Rest of the sums you try to do yourself. So stay connected and let's meet in the next video.